In a working class suburb of Buenos Aires, hundreds of people newly impoverished by the nation's economic crisis gather several times a week at this disused factory to take part in their own self-help solution to the disaster. This is a barter market, one of thousands which have sprung up throughout Argentina to fill some of the gaps left by the collapse of mainstream business. Here, trading is carried out using coupons called creditos, which can only be used inside the club. The country's national currency, the peso, plays no part in here at all. The network of barter markets has become a parallel economy. Hoy hay, a seis años de la fundación del primer club, el barter Bernal, club coordinator Ruben Ravera says, today, six years after the first club was founded, there are 1,400 of these markets linked through a powerful network with more than 150,000 members, which gives us a total number of people who you could say are affected by this type of exchange outside the formal economy of something over half a million. De algo más de medio millón de personas. It's not only homemade clothing and other such goods that are traded in the barter clubs. People exchange food they've produced themselves and even services such as hairdressing, doctors, dentists and psychiatrists. Barter clubs don't pay any tax, but they're tolerated and even encouraged by the government because they act as a safety valve for the volcano of social discontent that's boiling up because of mass unemployment. These women said the barter club is the only way they can feed and clothe their children. We haven't got money to work in a traditional market, so we come here out of necessity. I sew and do crochet and sell what I make and the barter club helps me save money for things like paying my household bills. This has become a way of life for us. The economic crisis is affecting all of us and this is a way of earning our daily bread with dignity. Everybody in Argentina is bartering now because there simply isn't any work and the advantage is that you can buy everything. With the country's official currency, the peso, collapsing, the use of barter has now spread into the mainstream economy. Wholesale vegetable markets have begun accepting creditors for produce, which is then traded in barter markets. A wide variety of businesses, including law firms, insurance companies and psychologists, have begun accepting creditors as payment. People advertise in newspapers to barter bigger items, such as washing machines, cars and even apartments. One plumber was actually given an apartment in exchange for installing all the pipework in a new building. But the true heart of the barter philosophy is to be found in these crowded markets. Ruben Rivera says a lot of people come from chronic unemployment or sometimes from the absolute impossibility of ever having access to work. And starting from these modest tables where they put themselves at the service of other people through a product or a service, these people gain fortitude which enables them to hold their own in the global economy more strongly. But with their savings frozen in the banks by government decree because of the crisis and strict limits imposed on how much of their salaries and pensions they can withdraw, the global economy might be on another planet so far as most ordinary Argentines are concerned. And small business people who sank their life savings into becoming their own boss have joined the unemployed. Yo he trabajado en empresas. Unemployed car mechanic Angel Carrizo says, I worked for companies and saved up for years until I had enough tools to open my own little workshop. But in the end, because we live in a district where people are short of money, I had to close my workshop because entire weeks were going by without anybody bringing a single car in to repair. Not because I'm a bad mechanic, but because people in the neighborhood were selling their cars because of unemployment. Everybody walks everywhere in our area now, so I can't repair cars anymore. And even among those who have jobs, some are being remunerated in kind by their employers because they simply don't have the cash to pay them. 
as evidenced by entire boxes full of consumer items being brought to the barter markets by employees to trade for things they really need. But it may be in places like this that we should be looking for a glimmer of hope for Argentina, rather than to the banks and the international investors, because the barter markets reflect the country's tradition of fighting back against adversity. And if the economy is the stage of comeback, it's more likely to start from the energy of ordinary people rather than from globalization, which has so far brought them nothing but misery. And as this is the only part of the economy that's actually growing, the way things are heading, Argentina looks like becoming one big barter club.